one of the things that we ran into in painting was simplifying a scene, especially like this. It's very complicated as far as painting it goes. Painting a photograph, if it's a portrait, basically you're dealing with a face of a person or maybe a couple of people and, you know, the upper portion of their clothes uh, and so forth. Here, you're dealing with tons of detail. Uh, so it's a whole different ball game. So I'm going to make a copy of this image, Control J, Command J on a Mac, and I'm going to show you one way to get around that. It's a choice uh, that you can have. I'm going to go to the magic eraser, the background, or to erase the background, and I'm just going to get rid of, let me turn this layer off, I'm going to get rid of all of the sky. Actually, I'm going to get rid of everything that isn't uh, the trees. Now, that may have gone too far. Let me you know, stay away from that part. Let's go through here. Try the mountains here, up here. Now, that these little specks that went away, I don't care anything about that. that. That's not a problem. And we could have protected that from disappearing uh, by simply making a selection. Let me, let me go back, as a matter of fact, and redo that. So I'll just throw this layer away and do a Control J, Command J again and show you what I mean. We can say, uh, I, want, I don't want any of this. Let me turn this layer off so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of all that. Now, when I hit this, it's going to come down. No, it's not so far. Now it's coming down here and erasing. So if if we start losing stuff up in here, we can protect that. So we can just go back a step and say, I only want to affect this down here right now. So I made a selection around just that area. So I go back, turn that eraser on again and come down here and and notice now none of these specs are missing up in here we can get rid of the mountains there nowhere else uh, are we going to affect the pixels outside of this selected area so now we can turn the marching ants off control D and come up here and finish getting the remnants of the blue that were in the sky. Let's go ahead and get rid of the mountains up here. I want to enlarge that a little bit with control and the spacebar held down. That'd be command spacebar on a Mac. Just get rid of the any of the blue and the control zero, command zero on a Mac. And now I'm going to go in. I didn't do a good job protecting some of that over here did I? Uh, I'm going to go to filter filter gallery and I found that the palette knife does a great job of uh, simplifying obviously this is oversimplified but if I bring that down you see I can pretty much take it all the way back off and just kind of bring it up as I want to uh, we can cut out the detail if we want softness, uh, that's totally up to you. But we'll show you what it looks like now. So if we zoom in, there's what the trees look like now. If I turn the background back on with the bottom layer, you see how simplified the trees are now in the foreground. So even down here in the reflection, you see the difference that we've got. So the trees uh, are, do have the painterly look for us just by doing that. So they can save you hours of trying to brush it on your own, or you can come in here and still do the brush. Now I would, I would make a copy of this in case uh, you go too far and it starts looking pretty bad. But turn on the paintbrush, the actual mixer brush tool, Make sure it's wet, 
and check your, you know, all of these things should be pretty much what I've got here. And then you can uh, push these pixels around if you so choose to. And then you can, you know, smooth all that out. Because right now it probably, you know, we've got some jaggedy edges that are probably not going to show a lot. And you can soften that out with the detail controls and so forth. But you can come in here and paint all of this now if you wish to. And it's already simplified for you. So you're going to have to get down low, so to speak. Uh, you're going to have to make your brush small and get in here and work these details because otherwise you're going to end up with huge smears all over again and uh, it's going to be obvious in the image that that it just you know isn't quite getting that look anymore the painterly look and and all that so if we zoom back out a little bit you see where I made that big brush stroke here smoothed it out so it's really standing out what I did there so you got to be careful of that you don't you don't want those big uh, changes and then you you zoom back out and you think you're done and you say oh my gosh look look at that big mess I made so you you've got to decide if you want to go with just what the the filter gave you and in places like that, I would definitely use the brush to fix. Uh, just be careful, you know, zoom back out once in a while and look and see what you've done. You may want to undo it. Those look pretty good. So the image is looking pretty nice right now. And then I could go in here and uh, I don't need to run a filter on this part. I can certainly with with my brush tools I can do my own simplifying and painting I can't have all of those details but I can certainly have some of that so we kind of push that gray around to have the changes and the textures of the rock just can't have all of the information that's there because then it's a photograph and that's one of the things we're we're moving away from so you get the idea of what the filter can help us with in simplification you can actually isolate uh, every part of an image and you know run a different filter on it if that's what you want to do but you see how much more painterly this is already than these other rocks that haven't been simplified yet you want to go to the different parts that have different color otherwise it all ends up being the same color and it doesn't look anything like a mountain range after a while it just looks like big gray blobs You don't mind just sitting there while I paint I hope I because I do start painting and lose track of things sometimes so you just bear with me there we go so now you can compare and we back out a little bit you can see the difference we have and then we'll turn on a big brush and, and really paint the mountains in a hurry. So sometimes a combination of the different tools we have in Photoshop can really help us out. So that takes care of this part.